The people in charge of the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear plant say they're dismantling a tank that's caused them a number of problems. Last month, more than 300 tons of highly radioactive water leaked out. Some of it has flowed into the Pacific Ocean. Officials with Tokyo Electric Power Company say they began taking apart the tank on Tuesday to find out what's wrong with it. They say they'll examine the tank to identify where the leak occurred. They say the work could take several days and about 350 similar tanks are installed on the grounds of the plant. The people in charge of the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear plant have yet another problem on their hands. They say they've found cracks in the brace supporting an exhaust pipe. Authorities are concerned the pipe could collapse in another earthquake. The 120-meter-tall pipe stands between two reactor buildings. Workers used it to release radioactive vapors and prevent an explosion after the disaster at the plant. Officials with Tokyo Electric Power Company say they spotted cracks in eight places on the steel brace that holds the pipe upright. They suspect the earthquake two years ago caused the problem. They say there's no evidence of any damage to the pipe itself. Overseers at the Nuclear Regulation Authority are demanding that company officials investigate immediately. They want to know whether the structure can withstand another earthquake. The people overseeing Fukushima Daiichi are offering details on how they dealt with the problem caused by the storm. They say workers released about 1,100 tons of rainwater that had pooled at the facility. Officials at Tokyo Electric Power Company said rain accumulated inside barriers around storage tanks for radioactive wastewater. Workers released the water in seven locations on nearby soil. The workers didn't release the water directly into drainage ditches that lead to the sea. We've determined that it's rainwater and are dealing with it accordingly. TEPCO officials say the levels of radioactive substances in the water were below the government set limit of 30 becquerels. Company officials say they will look at ways to keep rainwater from accumulating during future storms. Japan's industry minister says people should stop focusing on isolated problems at the plant and look at the overall picture. Toshimitsu Motegi says the leaks at Fukushima Daiichi do not pose a threat to the environment outside the compound. Motegi was responding to criticism of comments by Prime Minister Shinzo Abe. Abe assured members of the International Olympic Committee that the situation at Fukushima Daiichi is under control, but a TEPCO official contradicted that view. Motegi says the radioactive water is affecting only a limited area inside the plant's port. The government is taking the initiative in tackling the problem. It's pushing preventive and multi-layered measures to ensure the wider sea is not affected. Motegi also says offshore radioactivity levels are well within safety standards.